Hey there, Leo. This is Renee, and welcome back. Leo, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on? What you can expect? What's coming towards you in the next 48 hours? Okay? Uh, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay. <clears throat> Leo, as I was meditating on your energy, I was getting the word forgiveness. I feel like someone is in need of forgiveness. This may be your energy. This may be someone else's. But I'm really feeling like someone is in need of forgiveness okay um <clears throat> let's look more into this let's get some tarot for this see we have the moon the six of pentacles Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, two, two. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Swords. So I'm really getting with this energy with the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're holding yourself back, Leo. You're holding yourself back. There's some kind of choice that you need to make. I feel like you're showing up in this reading very strongly. I feel like you're strong. There's someone who wants some kind of reunion with you after some kind of tower. After something's ended, they feel like they want to call you. They want to communicate with you and... express how they're feeling so I, I am getting this someone wants some kind of new beginning they want to be seen they want to offer you some kind of offering of love uh, so I feel like someone is coming forward um, maybe someone who has done you wrong someone who is from your past Maybe you had a fight. Maybe this is a current relationship and you haven't had any contact. But I feel like someone wants to come back. <laughs> someone is definitely asking for your forgiveness. Um, because I feel like there were things that were revealed in this situation. And they want to share this with you. Something has been revealed to them that they want to share some kind of realization, some kind of epiphany that they had. So maybe they feel like they've done you wrong and now they want to make things right. They want to bring things back into balance. They want to focus on the present and the future. So initially someone wants to come back, Leo. Someone wants your forgiveness. They want you to give them a second chance. Okay? That's what I'm getting. They want a second chance to share something with you. Okay? They feel like there's something that you really need to know. We have the Temperance. The Eight of Swords again. The Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So I definitely feel like this person coming back, this person, you may want this person to come back. You may still have a lot of feelings for this person. This may be something that maybe you wished had happened. Um, but I feel like 
this is something that maybe you want to happen. Maybe you feel like this person can change. But this person wants to offer you some kind of healing and harmony. They, they know that they messed up. They know that something went wrong in the relationship. Maybe they were holding back. They weren't being honest. Um, but I feel like they want a second chance. They want a second chance, but they are fearing that you're going to walk away and move to something different. The, the words that I'm getting is you're going to walk away and move to something better. So I feel like this person may have some issues with self-confidence, you know, self-worth or what have you. But I feel like, you know, they're really fearful that you're going to walk away and to go to something different. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I have to clear my throat for some reason. Um, we're going to go to the after tarot so that we can clarify a little bit. Tell me more about this situation for Leo. Spirit, give me a message for Leo. Give me a message for Leo, please. Sun, moon, and rising. And I apologize. It appears that I'm losing my voice now. <clears throat> Just one moment. I'm going to get a drink. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. Um, Spirit, give me a message for Leo. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, we have the two of wands. We have the eight of swords again. Wow. The hierophant. <clears throat> the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. Okay, at the bottom we have the Empress. So I definitely feel like this person is really wanting some new beginning. They want to create this over again. Uh, they want it to be manifested in a different way. I feel like they feel like the first time <laughs> just did not work out. They want a second chance to start over. Okay. And I feel like with the two of wands and the eight of swords. Now you have the two of wands and the eight of swords twice. So definitely I feel like this person. You are this person's world. Okay. They see a future with you and they want this choice to be made that you feel the same way about them but I feel like you're kind of holding yourself back because this person may have hurt you this person may not have been honest or they may have not shown you their true self you know uh, so I feel like you're holding back a little bit but I feel like you are kind of feeling the same way because <clears throat> we have the the hierophant energy so I feel like I feel like you want to do the right thing and you want to give this person another chance you want to give them another chance but you're not sure you're not sure you have to be sure that these lessons that you've laid down here are worth it. I feel like these are all the lessons that you learned in this relationship. You know, you you've like laid down these burdens as lessons and challenges and you've like laid all these down. You let them go. And you you want to move into a different direction. But you're taking some of those lessons with you. So there's some things that you're not letting go of. That you're not moving past. There's some sense of regrets. Or 
you know, holding back because you feel like those lessons may repeat themselves. Okay, but you're willing to move forward, but you're taking that with you. Okay, so very interesting energy for you, Leo, because I feel like um, you're kind of willing to move forward with this person. You're willing to give them another chance, but you're also holding on to some of the resentment, some of the things that may have happened so that you're like, I've got one, one foot in and one foot out. You do this again and I'm gone. You know, so I feel like it's kind of that energy, Leo. Okay, uh, let's get some more messages for Leo. More messages for Leo, please. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune twice, so I do feel like there's change. We have the King of Cups. And we have the World card. So I feel like you got the Wheel of Fortune and the World card because I feel like this is this cycle is totally complete. It's totally done. And I feel like you're able to begin again in this situation. Um, but first of all, you may have to let go of any resentment. Of anything that may be holding you back, Leo. Okay, but I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, the world, and the King of Cups, I feel like, you know, as you grow, as you expand as a person, you know, we all, we're always evolving. We're always changing. So if you're with someone at a certain period of time, it may be because it was not the right time. It may be that this person needed to grow, but I feel like this is a new cycle, this is a new turn of events and you're able to process it with love, with guidance, with acceptance. Okay. <clears throat> so very interesting. You know what? I'm going to take some cards. We're going to look and see what's going on with this person. What? does Leo's person want to communicate to Leo please let's get a message from Leo's person message from Leo's person please okay they may be younger than you you know they may be more immature um, they may be kind of immature in love they may not have had very many experiences in love I feel like it's that they're saying a taste of your own medicine. So maybe they're doing to you what you did to them. You know? Um, we have backstabber. So I feel like someone was betraying someone else. Hmm. Get more information before making a decision. Okay, and we have soulmate. Very interesting. So I'm really getting that this is an immature person. They may be younger than you, a few years younger than you actually, um, but very immature in love. Um, I feel like it may have been a back and forth, but they do feel like you're a soulmate to them. But Spirit is letting you know, get more information before you make a total decision. Hmm. Another message, please. Waving the white, white flag. Yeah, they're surrendering to you. They're surrendering. There was some kind of betrayal. Some kind of backstabbing. In the relationship. Maybe you have started with friends with benefits or you're still in this relationship with this person kind of going back and forth. It never really totally ended, but you've, you're you just going back for friends with benefits kind of situation. You know? 
the damage has already been done. Interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. What kind of damage has already been done? They want you to believe me. They want to explain. They want to explain. Maybe they feel damaged because of some kind of betrayal. I need you now. Hmm. I feel like this person has a lot to say. You're safe with me. Okay, so I, I feel like this person definitely has a lot to say. At the bottom we have, be straight with me. So I feel like there's a lot of back and forth energy. I feel like, Leo, to be totally honest, I feel like you don't trust this person maybe because you have done wrong in the past. Maybe that's why I was steady feeling forgiveness in the beginning. Um, but I feel like it's a very immature energy. It's like back and forth. But this person really feels like you're a soulmate to them. They really want this new beginning. They want things to change and be better. Okay? Um, let's get some angel cards for this reading. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to get my glasses. Okay, so we have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Okay, and we have light activation. Share your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So I would say, Leo, to use your intuition. Um... At the bottom you have intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Okay, Leo. Let's get some more cards for you. Let's take a look at this oracle deck. What does Leo need to know, please? Okay, if you have any answers, your questions is no. But we do have forgiveness and remain positive. Okay? And at the bottom we have big, happy changes. So I feel like, you know, th there, there is some mending that needs to be done in this relationship. Of course, there is forgiveness. But... You know, as we evolve and change, we are capable of changing from our old life to something totally different. So, I'm going to leave this one up to you, Leo. This is your decision. I can't make it for you. Um, I can just tell you what I see. Okay? But Spirit is letting you know that any question that you may have, the answer is no. Okay? So... And we have another no. Okay. So, and at the bottom we have, again, big happy changes. So, you know what? I'm going to leave the reading with you, Leo. Uh, this is going to resonate however it resonates for you. And um, now, if this does resonate, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. <clears throat> I have all the March readings in a playlist. So if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising, go ahead and take a look at your March reading. And until your next reading, Leo, many blessings to you. Love and light.